Castlevania Adventure is no longer the worst Castlevania game. It's Haunted Castle. This game came out in arcades around 1988. Alright, I'll start the game, shall we? You need this highly advanced cutscene here. Your character's like, Yeah, I'm gonna give you some good old pussy at night. Jackie's like, Not so fast. I shall have a pussy fast. That's a really great plot. It's a really great plot. That's an F for shit. Alright. First thing you'll notice with this game is that your character moves like shit. Well, I guess he looks like a piece of shit, so I guess we'll overlook that. It's not the fact that the controls are slow, it's the fact that the enemies will kick your ass in this game you can't do shit about it. The enemies will always land their cheap hits on you regardless of how good of a gamer you are. I don't care if you're the best Castlevania player around, this game will kick your ass. La -de -da -de -da -de -da -da. What? There's no way to avoid that! The thing is that with this game, the bats move in a completely random pattern, so you really can't time when to hit the batter. Now you have this sequence here. You have these little side of the walls that are coming out at you, and if you get hit by them, it takes about half your life, so if you take two hits from anything in this game, you're dead instantaneously. Now you have to jump on these little pillars, and trust me, you want to jump on these pillars, because if you don't, watch what happens. Just watch. Your ass will be burned to a crisp if you don't. Now you have these tree fuckers that are coming out trying to grab your ass or molest you, whatever they're trying to do. They're pretty easy. And watch out for the crosses, because they hurt you too. If you, if you touch one of them crosses, they'll take half your life too. Here's a classic moment right here, watch this. I can't even walk up the stairs, I can't even go right to the, up the set of the stairs. Look at this! I take another cheap hit! That just shows you how flawed this game is. I mean, this game could have been awesome. This game could have been kick ass. They just fixed some of things. You can't get sub weapons in this game, but why do you get bombs? It should be holy water. What were they thinking? How would bombs be effective against monsters? Holy water would make a whole lot more sense, wouldn't you think? No. This game has to fucking fuck with you a bit. Alright, now I'm up to the boss. You have to kill Medusa, and of course I get hit by a bat that just flew across the screen because I couldn't avoid him. And trust me, if you're playing this game, you're going to see that screen a lot. And another problem I have with this game is that in this game, you only get three credits. Once you use up those three credits, it's game over. Beginning of the game. That's it. End of story. You can extend your life, however, but if you extend your life, you use up one of your credits. I mean, you know I said Silver Surfer was hard? This game is fucking Silver Surfer times 10 in the difficulty. Along with all the cheapness, along with all the shitty fucking gameplay, these crap-ass controls, your character walks like a... he has got a fucking dick up his ass, these tree fuckers molesting you, I found something really interesting. The Japanese version of this game is actually easy. I guess Konami of America was really trying to fucking take your money, but they failed miserably because this game bombed in the arcades. This game didn't make shit. I'll show you the Japanese version. All right, here's the Japanese version. The title screen says different. It says Akuma Joe Dracula or Demon Castle Dracula, if you don't know what that is. I'll skip through all that. And as you can see, the damage in this game is a bit more balanced, but this game is still a hard as balls game. La -de -da -de -da -de -da -de -da. See, again, I take another fucking cheap hit. Why does every shitty game have animals that kick your ass? Legacy of Goku, Total Recall, the dogs to hump the shit out of you. In this game, the bats fucking just kick your ass because they're completely random. What the hell? Alright, now let's get back to this boss battle. The bats here are actually predictable because all you have to do is just duck under them. Come on, I ain't got all day. Come on, show yourself. <sighs> this take too long. Finally! Alright, now this is what you gotta do. You gotta jump over them snakes that she throws out at you and just throw your bombs at her. 
You kill her in four or five hits, she'll die. She's pretty easy. That's the end of stage one. Hooray! More of this shit fest. Alright, watch this. This is one of the cheapest hits. See, again, I can't avoid that. There's no way to avoid that shit. You can't jump over him because you'll get hit. Then I get hit again. And how is that even possible? How is how can a skeleton turn into a ghost like that? That's no way humanly possible. Alright, I descend down the stairs. Watch this. This is a classic moment right here. This is a classic moment. This is this just tells me this game was designed to put you through hell. I fall through here. You think you die. You're right back at the beginning of the fucking level. You have all them fucking bone fuckers trying to fucking grab you or molest you or whatever they're trying to do. You can't even avoid them at all, so you know you're going to take a hit. Alright. I mean, I'd rather play Castlevania the Adventure while masturbating than play this game ever again. Because at least Castlevania the Adventure, I feel that I might get somewhere. I might actually win. This game gives you no chance in hell of winning. You have to go through seven stages of pure hell. You still have those fucking cheap enemies that just hang in your ass. These rocks that just come out of nowhere. Why are they coming up? They should be going down. Here's some of the worst hit detection. Boom! Let's see that again, shall we? That is clearly a miss, ladies and gentlemen. Hooray for bad hit detection! Hooray! La da da da, go around, kill monsters, fucking bitches. Bullshit, I couldn't even avoid that. No! No! Just kill me already! Will you just kill me already and just end this fucking game? God, I hate this game. <sighs> Alright, as I digress from my Archie outburst that I had there a couple seconds ago, I regained my sanity once again, once I punch the miner a couple hundred times. Well, anyway, um, you go up to this long and pain inducing corridor of this fucking mud man, and of course I get hit again by cheap hits. Alright, this is the second stage boss, okay? He's pretty easy. This is all you gotta do. Use your stopwatch, and then just start hitting him with your weapon, and all of a sudden he'll fall. And then after you kill him, the castle gate opens. Beware, for the next stage is the anal rate moment of the game. This part is the this is the part of the game that most gamers will fucking tear their hair out of. This is where this is where most gamers will commit suicide when they're playing this game. Watch this. This is the cheapest fucking hit in the game. Look at that! He jumped over me! Look at this shit! The only way you can kill him, it, it takes two hits for them to kill him. They will fucking rape you! Look at this! They're kicking my ass! Fuck! And I'm fucking dead! And now is my last credit too! That's the far as I've ever gotten in this game, the third fucking stage. At least I got six on the last score. I'm gonna put in a word that I think is appropriate for this game. Fuck this game! I hate it! I hate this game worse than Dragon's Lair. Maybe not as much as Dragon's Lair, but I fucking hate this game so fucking much. If you see the actual arcade cabinet, blow it up with some C4. Don't even download this game. Don't even play it on MAME. That's that's all I gotta say. Jedi, out. <sighs> Fuck. Hate this game.